Hi, I'm Rebecca Jo. Welcome to my home studio. Today's practice is really just about getting into your body, warming yourself up a bit. It's pretty cold here in Denver. Um, because of that, I'll be keeping my socks on throughout the practice. I would recommend if you're a little newer to this, that maybe you use sliders off so that you can use your bare feet. This is my dog, Violet. She may be coming in and out just a little bit. We will start standing today. Just come to the front of your mat. Bring your feet so they're about hip width distance apart. And if you're not sure what that measurement is, you can simply take one foot, turn it in, bring your big toe to meet the opposite inner heel, and then keep your heel down as you hip it back. And you'll find that your structural hip distance is about the length of one of your feet. So from here, take your thumbs and hook them like an eagle flapping wings here. Extend your arms overhead. Just holding here, take a deep breath in. Open your mouth wide and exhale out. Let's do that two more times, reaching it through your fingers and drawing them wide through the palms as you inhale. And exhale through your mouth. One more time, maybe lifting your gaze, deep breath in. And exhale, bend through your knees as you dive over your legs. Bring your fingertips down to the floors. Alternately, you can grab a block to help bring the ground a little closer to you. And then keep that bend in your knees. Rest your lower ribs down on the top of your thighs. And start to stretch your fingertips forward. Again, creating a little space from top to bottom to kind of pull the ears up apart. Reach your sitting bones back. Walk your fingertips forward. And then start to walk your heads over towards the right. To link the knee to your left side. Take your gaze out. Pull back through your left sitting bone. And then walk your hands over towards the left. Take your gaze out through your hands once again. And pull back through your right hip. And come back to the center. Let your head get heavy and fold into your leg. And then if you can, keep this connection between your ribs and your thighs as you start to lift your seat a little higher. And take a deep breath in. Exhale out your mouth. Press your feet slowly, roll yourself up to stand. Take your arms overhead. Place the other thumb in front. Reaching up to your fingertips, press to your feet. Take a deep breath in. Exhale to your mouth. Maybe lift onto the balls of your feet as you reach up with your fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, reach your heels back down. Last time, deep breath in. And exhale, fold. Bending the knees again, let your head get heavy. One more time, walk your fingertips forward. And again, you can always grab your blocks here, especially if you tend to round a lot in the back. Find a little bit of a back bend in the upper back so you widen it across your collarbones, take your gaze out. And then keep your right hand reaching forward as you take your left arm under your body. Reach around and see if you can grab onto your right ankle, maybe your right heel. Keep a little bit of the knees as you start to twist and turn over your right shoulder. And then maybe you start to extend that right leg straight as you bend your left knee forward towards your left shoulder. Take five breaths here. And then release, extend your left hand forward, take your gaze out, take a breath in. And exhale, take your right arm under the body, reach for the outer left heel or ankle. Bend your right knee forward, extend your left leg straight. And turn those under your left shoulder. Stretch your heart through your arms, take a breath in. And then exhale, fold. You can slide your blocks off to the side. Bring your hands down to the floor and step yourself back into downward facing dog. Come into your downward dog and just move in the way that feels good for you for now. Walking the feet in place, shifting your hips, your head. 
And then press yourself forward into a high plank pose. And then anytime you need to, you can always take your knees down for a little extra support and stability. Otherwise, lifting through your inner thighs, press back through your heels, stretch your chest forward. Stack your shoulders right under your wrists and then keep that position of the hands and feet as you come back again into downward dog. So you create a measurement. Put a little bit of a bend in your knees. Lift your knees up higher to elongate your spine. And then reach your heels down without locking the legs. forward into plank again. Lowering all the way in one piece or maybe dropping the knees for support as you come onto your belly. Untuck your toes. Take your arms forward into a sphinx pose. Your elbows are right underneath your shoulders, palms flat to the ground. Press down through your hands and feet so you find a really strong contact. And then start to draw back with your hands as you move your ribcage through the frame of your arms. Lift the gaze enough just to open the throat both out, crouching back into the neck. On an exhale, draw your elbows wide. Rest your forehead on the back of your hands. Bend your knees, let your feet rock from side to side. And then release your feet back to the floor. Tuck your toes under. Lift through your kneecaps. Slide your hands back in line with your ribs. And again, you can always support yourself with your knees down here. Otherwise, press them that way. Rise back to the plank. Put a soft bend in your knees and find your way into downward dog. Taking a full breath in through your nose. Exhale, widen your mouth, stick out your tongue. Again, deep breath in. Take a lion's breath, exhale. One more time, breathing in. Take your right leg, reach it straight back. Keep that little bit of a bend in the left knee and press down with your palms. And then step your right foot lightly between your hands. Keep reaching back through your left heel, looking high into the left thigh as you take your gaze out if you need. You on the fingertips here. And then you'll keep your left hand down as you open into a twist. Reach your right arm. If it's comfortable in your neck, see if you can catch a glimpse of your right pinky with your left eye. And then release your right hand down to the floor. Take your back knee down, untuck your back toes. Extend your arms overhead. Lift along through both sides of the waist and then drop your right fingertips down towards the floor. Now, if your hand is kind of floating here, you can take a block. Set the hand onto the block as you lift through the left side. And then release your left hand down in this side of your foot, right hand outside of the foot. Lift your back knee, take an inhale. And as you exhale, shift your weight forward, press to the right foot, take your gaze out and extend through your left heel. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, pull your left knee forward and round your spine. And then as you inhale, press that left foot back, bend a little through the right knee to kind of sink weight into the right foot. Then push the ground away, lengthening the right leg as you draw the left knee in. Take three more. Reaching your foot back. Step back through your lunge, plant your hands, and come into downward dog. Shift forward towards that plank pose again as you inhale. This time, let your hips drop towards the ground, but keep them a little light and lifted. Shift your weight from side to side. And then come back again, downward dog. Take your left leg reaches back as you inhale. Step your foot forward between your hands as you exhale. Take a moment to find a really strong lunge here. And then reach your left arm up. Keep charging back to that right heel so that right leg is straight and strong. Catch a glimpse of your left pinky with your right eye. And then release the hand down. So if you know you want that block, go ahead and slide it back. Lift both sides of the waist first. So getting long through the left side as well as the right. And then stay lifted as you take that left hand down, either to the block or towards the floor. Really 
release your hands down. Lift your back knee, find your lunge, and how. And you can use blocks here as well as you find this variation of warrior three. So keeping your hands light, whether they're on the floor or the blocks. Take a breath in here. And then exhale, pull your knee into your nose. Inhale, bend the left knee, push the right foot back. Exhale, pull the knee in, round the spine, straighten the left leg, push the ground away. Three more. Stepping back as you're ready, pass through your lunge as you come back to your downward dog. Lean forward on your inhale, take that touch to an upward dog, keeping the legs really strong. And exhale, come back, downward dog. This time, without taking the leg back, step the right foot forward. Find your twist again. Take a breath in. Exhale, release the hand down. With keeping your back knee lifted, sweep your arms overhead. Press back through your left heel. And then lengthen through the left side as you drop the right hand down, see if you can catch the back or the outer left thigh. the gaze slightly up. Release your left hand down. Walk your fingertips forward onto the floor or grab a block. Float your left leg back. See if you can maintain the twist of the spine. Reaching through the left heel, take the right arm up. And then release your right hand down. This time sit your left leg down and next to your right, bend both knees. Extend the arms overhead and come into a chair. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, rise to stand. Release your arms alongside the body. Take a full breath in and full breath out. Inhale, reach your arms up. Press your palms together. Exhale, dive over your legs. Step your right foot back and then your left. Find downward dog. Inhale, coming forward, tuck to an upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Set your left foot forward between your hands. Take a pause to lengthen through the back leg and then take the left arm up. Twist the inhale. Exhale, release the hand. Press through your feet as you sweep both arms overhead. And then keep that right arm reaching up. Take the left hand behind your leg. Reaching your arm for the outer right leg so you can turn that right hip forward and down. Lengthen through the right side body. And then releasing your right hand down to the floor, grabbing a block. Shift your weight into your left leg, revolving over to the left. Take the left foot down for a moment. Choose at your right foot next to your left. Steady, stable, and bending both knees. Extend the arms overhead. Holding here, take a deep breath in. Exhale, rise and stand. Release your arms alongside your legs. Close your eyes for a moment. Then inhaling, reaching the arms up, press the palms together. Exhale, dive over your legs. Stepping left foot and then right foot back. And once again, into downward dog. This time drawing your right knee forward. Pause here, take your gaze out. And then send your right foot across underneath the body. Keep both hips pointing down as best as you can. Stretch your chest forward so the upper body stays in plank. Roll into the inside of the left foot. Keep pressing through the right hand. Stretch the left arm up. And then extend the left arm alongside the head. Slowly start to pivot to face down again. Draw the right knee behind your right wrist. Keep your back toes tucked under for this version of pigeon. Pressing through your fingertips, lift your chest. Soften your hips down as you reach back through the left heel. 
Press your palms down. Send your right leg back. This time, let your hip open. And release the right leg down next to the left. Inhale, leaning forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Pull your left knee forward. Send your left foot under the body. Keep the right foot pointing down. Take your gaze out. And then pivot onto the inside of the right foot. Stretch the right arm overhead. Extend the right arm alongside your ear. Reach to the fingertips. Catch a glimpse again of your right pinky with your left eye. And then slowly pivot. Set your left knee behind your left wrist. Come onto your fingertips. Charge back through your right heel, soften your hips as you lift through the center of your chest, moving your pelvis forward towards your left heel. Place your palms down, send your left leg back, open your hip. And then release your left foot to the floor. Shift your weight forward, this time stopping in plank. Lower all the way to the ground. Interlace your fingers at your low back. Press down with your feet. Reach your knuckles towards your heels. And then float the feet off of the ground. Keep pressing your pubic bones down into the floor. Don't worry so much about how high you get here. Really feel for length, lean apart from the feet to the crown. And then release your head down from one cheek to the floor. Rock your hips from side to side. Place your hands alongside your ribs. Press yourself back into child's pose. This version of taking the knees wide, big toes together. Set your hips back to your heels. Rest your forehead to the ground. Walking your hands back, come up to sit. And then take your legs and swing them around in front of you. You can always sit up on a block or a blanket here. Draw the bones of your seat back. So you tilt a little more forward into the front of your hips. And then keeping your knees bent, drape your ribs down to your thighs, very similar to how we did in that first forward hang. This time you're going to crisscross your ankles, or your wrists rather. Walk your feet apart. And then go only go as far as you can without losing that grip of the hands on the ankles. Draw your knees wide, take your gaze out. And then let's start out with the right arm on top just for consistency. You're going to keep the right arm where it is, swing your left arm up, lean back towards your right knee. Catch a glimpse of your left pinky with your right eye. And then swing your arm through the air, reaching around for the right ankle. And then just switch sides. Let's do that a couple more times. If it feels really nice, you can linger in this movement a little longer. And then finishing with the left arm crossed on top, turn your gaze forward, release the arms. Set your hands, rest on the floor, extend your legs up, continue to shift yourself towards the front of your hips. You can always keep a bend in the knees here to support yourself more or stay a little more upright. Otherwise, extending yourself forward and down. Start to bring yourself back upright. Let's grab our two blocks and we'll finish in a nice restorative shape. So you can face any direction you want. I'm doing it this way just so that you can see the position a little bit better. One block will go under the back of your shoulder blades, one under the back of your head. The height of the block under the head really depends on the comfort you have in your neck. The higher it is, the more support you'll find. The one under the shoulder blades, middle height or lower is usually best bringing it wide across the back. You'll lie yourself down. Place the head right on the block. And for this one, let's take the legs and extend them out. Sit 
stay here for as long as you have time and for as long as it's comfortable and supportive for you. When you're ready, you'll bend your knees, take your hands to the back of your legs, slowly bring yourself up to sit. You can finish like that. You can come to lie all the way down on your back if you'd like. I recommend if you're finishing here, if you are moving on with your day. I hope that you enjoyed that. You got a little bit of movement and heat in your body to warm you up to get you through these cold days. Please leave me comments, questions, feedback. I'd love to hear from you. Have a lovely day.